Hi, I'm Congressman Tom McClintock. The Iranian liberation movement has continued to grow and spread throughout the years. As the tyranny of the mullahs has become more oppressive, the international resistance to it has become more resolute. The more the story of Iran is told, of its proud ancient heritage of freedom and civilization, and of its current curse of despotism and terror, the more the world has rallied to your cause. We've seen this in the liberation of the MEK freedom fighters trapped in Iraq. We've seen it in the growing opposition to the Iranian mullahs from other Islamic countries like Saudi Arabia and Egypt. We've seen it in the growing support for the grand resistance rally that meets today. And we've seen it in our own country with the rejection of the policies of appeasement and their replacement with the leadership and determination of our new presidential administration. Today, the world is awakening to the danger of a nuclear-armed Iranian regime. Gone are the days when our government pretends that there's a moral equivalence between good and evil. Gone are the days when our government freed billions of dollars for the Iranian regime to finance its terrorist operations around the world. Gone are the days of one-sided agreements that have propped up the Iranian regime while undermining international security. The next popular uprising in Iran will be met not by ambivalence from the United States, but by its wholehearted support, both moral and material. They say it's always darkest before the dawn. I think it's now clear that dawn is breaking over Iran. Rather than apologizing for freedom, our new administration has declared its unabashed support for it. Instead of leading from behind, whatever that means, we are leading, period. There will be no more pallets of American cash for the mullahs, no more undermining the position of the Iranian resistance, and no more patience for the atrocities of Islamic extremists. Churchill said it best, dictatorship. The fetish worship of one man is a passing phase. A state of society where men may not speak their minds, where children denounce their parents to the police, where a businessman or small shopkeeper ruins his competitor by telling tales about his private opinions, such a state of society cannot long endure if brought into contact with the healthy outside world. The light of civilized progress, with its tolerances and cooperation, with its dignities and joys, has often in the past been blotted out. But I hold the belief that we have at last got far enough ahead of barbarism to control it and to avert it, if only we realize what is afoot and to make up our minds in time. Thank you, God bless you, and Godspeed.